Hello, my dear students. How are you? Have you remembered the last class? What we have taught in our last class? We have taught about the linkers and the uses of linkers in first unit from A reading, the snake and the mirror. Today, we will discuss about the grammar from part A. Okay. Now, open your textbooks. Textbooks. Page number ten. Read the following sentence from the story. Okay, this passage has been taken from the story, the snake and the mirror. And from that, we have to do the exercise. Okay, we found we had little to carry. Some thief had removed most of my things. Okay, we found. Little to carry. Some thief have removed most of my things. Here, in the above two sentences, the first one is in the simple past. Found, had. Okay. And the second one is in the past perfect tense. Had, removed. As you can see, the action in which the occurred earlier is expressed in the past perfect tense. Whereas the action which occur later is expressed in the simple tense. Okay. Here the sentence is before we have little to carry. Okay. Here had removed is written in the past perfect tense. And the had removed is written in the past perfect tense. And here we found is written in the simple past. Okay. The first one is the simple past and the second one is the past perfect tense. Here, here we observe the tense. Okay. Here verb V2 is in V2 form, past tense. Our sentence law, simple past law, unmani chapagalta. If had plus V3, if it's there, had plus V3, it's past perfect tense. Okay, we can say that it's in the past perfect tense. V form is in V2 form. Okay, so it is said in the simple past. Okay, now again I am repeating C children. Verb is in V2 form, that is past tense. Okay, and if had plus V3, if it is the had plus V3, we can say it is past perfect tense. Okay, and here V form is in V2 form. So, it is said to be as a simple past. Okay. Here, some thieves had removed. Okay. And had plus V3. It's in past participle. So, we can say that it's in past perfect tense. And here are some more examples. See, Sujata had arrived at the station before the train came. Here we have to combine these two sentences. Okay. Sujata had arrived at the station before the train came. The first one is Sujata had arrived is in past perfect tense and before the train came. It's in simple past tense. Okay. Sujata had arrived is in past perfect tense and the second one before the train came is a simple past tense. Okay. When we will be using by combining these two sentences. Okay. If the simple past is in past perfect tense, we can use this type of tenses. Okay. Perfect plus simple past. Okay. In the past tense, 
it's in perfect past simple past train raaku munde sujatha station ku vachindi so past la complete ayin sangatham kuda edi first complete ayindo danni past perfect la raastamu tarvata ayin danni simple past lo raastamu okay see the next sentence next example the doctor arrived after the patient had died the doctor arrived after the patient died here the doctor came okay before the doctor came after the patient died there we can write it as the patient died the patient had died before the doctor came or the doctor came after the patient died yeah both meanings are same and both are done in the past tense only rendu ardhalu okate ivi past lo jarigi poyinavi okay the doctor came after the patient died or the past patient had died before the doctor came okay next see the third example i bought the ticket as soon as i bought the bus i bought the ticket as soon as i bought the bus in bus lo ekka gaane ticket teesukunnanu here the two actions are nearly simultaneous in the past both are expressed in simple past tense okay sir jeri poye vaatini simple past tense lo express chestam bus ekka gaane ticket teesukota okay see see page number 11 now combine the following pairs of sentence using the past perfect and the simple past use linkers as use before object or when as linkers okay to combine these sentence we can use linkers as after before or when okay the first one is done for us see i brushed my teeth i took my breakfast okay what they have done this for this example after i had brushed my teeth i took my breakfast okay uh, i had brushed my teeth before i took my breakfast ikkada jarigipoyina tuvanti danni had plus v3 form lo రాశారు అంటే పాస్ట్ పర్ఫెక్ట్ లో తర్వాత కంప్లీట్ అయిన దాన్ని సింపుల్ పాస్ట్ లో పెట్టారు అనమాట సో బిఫోర్ ఆర్ ఆఫ్టర్ క్యాన్ బి యూస్ యాజ్ ఎ లింకస్ ఓకే దెన్ సీ ద నెక్స్ట్ వన్ షీ స్టార్టెడ్ టు గో టు మార్కెట్ ఇట్ రెయిన్ హెవీలీ షీ స్టార్టెడ్ టు గో టు మార్కెట్ ఇట్ రెయిన్ హెవీలీ తను మార్కెట్ కు బయలుదేరాలనుకున్నప్పుడే వర్షం పడింది సో వాట్ కెన్ బి యూజ్ యాజ్ అ లింటర్ వన్ షీ స్టార్టెడ్ టు గో టు మార్కెట్ ఇట్ రైన్ హెవీలీ తను మార్కెట్ బయలుదేరాలనుకున్నప్పుడే పెద్ద వర్షం వచ్చింది ఓకే హియర్ వెన్ ఈస్ యూజ్ యాజ్ ఎ లింటర్ ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ he completed his homework he went to bed he completed his homework he went to bed tanu homework complete cheskoni bed ki vellar nidra potaniki vellar tanu pane anta complete cheskoni nidra potaniki vellar see he went to bed after he had completed his homework he had completed his homework before he went to bed both can be written okay in the first but he went to bed after his he had completed his over when is used as a linker or it can be written as he had completed his homework before he went to his bed 
Then the fourth one is, I finished my dinner. Then my father came. I finished my dinner. You know, dinner muginches kuna karavata ma father richer. Okay. For that, I had finished my dinner before my father came. I had finished my dinner before my father came. In a dinner, Muginchesan, Epudu, Mananagaru, Rakmunde. Here the before is used as a linker. Okay. See the fifth one. I fell seriously ill. I met my family doctor. I fell seriously ill. Nenu baga sikkai payan. I met my family doctor. So here what can be used as a linker? When I fell seriously ill, I met my family doctor. Nenu epudaithe sikkai ano? Apru nenu ma family doctor nu kalsanu. Okay, here when is used as a linker. See the next one. I locked the door. I went out to meet my friend at a restaurant. I locked the door. Then door locked just Lock I went out to meet my friend as a at a restaurant. Okay, then door locked just Now friend in Kalvatan ki restaurant ki Here what can be used as a linker? I went out to meet my friend at a restaurant after I had locked the door. After I had locked the door. Now door locked the door. Here the operator is used as a link. Okay. Now okay. Look once again. See, with the answers children, here I have written up once again. After I, I brushed my teeth, I took my breakfast. In a pallu tonkuna taravata, breakfast season. It can be written either in both ways. After I had brushed my teeth, I took my breakfast. In brush chesuna taravata, na breakfast is kuna. Here after is used as a Linker and it can be written as in the other way. I had brushed my teeth before I took my breakfast. Here, before is used as a linker. Okay, I had brushed my teeth before I took my breakfast. Enu, na tiffin piece kok mande brush chest kuna. And the second one is she started to go to market. It rained heavily. When she started to go to market, it rained heavily. Then market to start a vagani, bed to wash him which is in the here when is used as a linker. And the third one is he completed his homework, he went to bed. And homework Muginch Kuna Taravata, bed to kill it, the report and kill it. Here when it is used as a linker, he went to bed after he had completed his homework. Here after is used as a linker. He went to bed after he had completed his homework. I finished my dinner. Then my father came. I had finished my dinner before my father came. Here before is used as a linker. Manana, Rakamunde, na dinner complete chest Okay. After seriously ill, I met my family doctor. And a serious cycle in our health, baga serious to Nandikinu, doctor Kelsan. It can be written as when I felt seriously ill, I met my family doctor. And baga see Sikha in Taravataninu, doctor no Kelsan. Okay. Then the last one. I locked the door. I went out to meet my friend at a 
expressed her end. Here the answer is, I went out to meet my friend at the restaurant after I had locked the door. In the restaurant, my friend is not going to be able to do it. My door is closed. Here, the author is used as a linker. Okay. Now, let's talk about the next one. Then comes the phrasal verbs. Here are the phrasal verbs. What are phrasal verbs? What are called phrasal verbs? Phrasal verbs cannot be understood based on the individual. It's the whole part. The whole can be explained. Okay? It cannot be differentiated into two parts. Here, a unit of a verb and one or more particles or prepositions are called phrasal verbs. Okay, what are phrasal verbs? A unit of verb and one or more particles or a preposition. It can be counted in a whole. Here there are some more phrasal verbs. Okay, take out. To remove something from inside. Local inchi, bite this way, tani, take out any untaru. You have to remove bad habits from you. You have to remove bad habits from yourself to outside. You have to throw them. You have to leave them. Okay? Set up. To arrange for something. To happen. To start. Set up means to arrange for something to happen or to start. Before we organize anything or before we sit for the reading for the exam, we will set up everything. Okay, what all we need to study? The study material, pen, pencil, and dictionary. Okay, like that set up means to arrange for something before we start up. Take off means to remove. We should remove our bad habits from ourselves. Okay, take off means to remove. We have to remove our bad things from ourselves. Lie down means to take rest. Take time off. We take some time for something. Before we do anything, we have to take some time to think over it. Twice. Okay. Like for that, we can use this word. Take time off. To take some time for something. Look into. Means to observe oneself keenly. Keenly means to observe oneself keenly. To observe oneself Jagratthika parishilishtam, kada? Keenly means parishilishtam, shunnanga parishilishtam. Look at, to have a look at something. Then the eighth one is get up, means to wake up. Change into, to turn into. Maritam, change ante maritam. Path swabhavi kamunchi, kotta dananti, manam tis kravatam. Manam maratam. Manam chedi alava purvesu manchi vidaga, manam maratam. Leave behind. To leave something as a token of memory or gift. Manamu, oka pradeshan minchu, manam pradeshan vilna pur manamu, akta vaka, gurtu, oka gurtunde vidanga manamu, nilavadi potam. Okay, manchi vidaga, manam school. Lunch by the Kelegatra, but the Chala Munch and Pinchpan Oka Memory Gavala Nilabar Gol. Chedu Vidaga, Manamo, Nilabar Gol. Atla, leave behind and take to leave something as a token of memory or gift. Okay. Now, once again, listen, write it down in your notebook these phrasal words and do practice. Okay. Then, once again, I am reading out the phrasal words. Take out means. To remove something from inside. 
set up to arrange for something to happen to start. Take off means to remove. Lie down means to take rest. Take time off. To take some time for something. Look into. To observe oneself keenly. Look at. To have a look at something. Get up. To wake up. Change into. To turn into. Leave behind. To leave something as a token of memory or gift. Okay. Have you noted down, children? And here, there is another passage. Use the phrasal verbs in the blanks. Here, they have given one passage. We have to use the above phrasal verbs in the sentence as a linkers. Okay? When Katra was a rich man, he wanted to dash some business in the town. So, he dashed a lot of money from the bank on an auspicious day. He started his medical business, which increased by leaps and bounds. He became so busy that he could not dash for any rest. He used dash very early in the morning and go to his office. In the afternoon, he would dash his shirt and on his porch in the office. After a nap, he would put on his shirt. Then he would dash the mirror and dash himself admiringly. Anyhow, dash some fame in the town even when he went to abroad. Everybody believed that he dash same some fame in the town even when he went abroad. Everybody believed that he dash into a new person, new man. Okay. Here we can use the above phrasal verbs as a linkers. You could even in the sentence Venkatra was a rich man. Venkatra is a rich man means Venkatra Vanatana Chana Papa Dhanikidu. Okay. He wanted to dash some business in the town. He wanted to dash some business in the town means Atanu Waka business challenge putunadu. Ekada town lo. So what can be used as a linka? Set up. Waka arrange a school and put in a business cavity. Here the phrasal of setup can be used as a linka. Okay. Then so he dash a lot of money from the bank. Okay. So he dash a lot of money from the bank. He took out bank lundi petta mottamu tiskunadu. Took out. He scored up. On an auspicious day, he started his medical business, which increased by leaps and bounds. Okay. Mainchi dina ni choose kone. Then your medical business ni. Start this adadi, which increased by leaps and bounds and take chana rose rose go abridraki raudam praram nichindi. He became so busy that he could not dash for any rest. So he became so busy that he could not dash for any rest. See, so busy that he could not take time off for any rest. Can you rest this kotaniki? Chinne Aukasham Chin Punta Koda time Lakunda I Pandi. He used to dash very early in the morning and go to his office. He used to get up. Get up is the phrasal verb in this sentence. Then Potune Lechi, then office go, Siddhapadi, Pelevadi. In the afternoon, he would dash his shirt and dash on his porch in the office. Okay? In the afternoon, he would take off his shirt. Can you take off and remove? Remove chaitam. Can you shirt and remove chesi? Lie down. Lie down means take rest. 
on his porch in the office. Tanu, Ajana Kota, Tana shirt, he says, he out the office room lone, rest this Kunavadu. In the office, after a nap, he would put on his shirt, then he would dash the mirror and dash himself admiringly. After a nap, nap and day, chin kuniki padu. He would put on his shirt, then he would look into the mirror. Murderla choose kunavadu. Nidha chinna nap, chinna gap lo, nidra poi, rest this kuni, tiri lechi tanu, adam lo, choose kunavadu. And look at himself admiringly. Tanu tanu, choose kunavadu. Adam lo ki, tan reflection choose kuni, tanu tanu, muspoya vadu. Anyhow, he dashed some fame in the town, even he went abroad. Anyhow, he left behind, left behind and tanu, a pranta mudales poina pudigni, a kriyam budli poyadu, left behind and te budli pota. Some fame in the town, even when he went to abroad. Everybody believed that he changed into a new man. Under Eman Kunadu tanu, Anchi Gopa Victiga Marpoyadani and Kumadu. Okay? Here the passage is about Venkatra. Okay? He is a rich man. He wanted to set up a business in the town. Okay? Venkatra U Chala Gopa Danikuru Tanu. Oka business chair and Kuna town. But Anni set up chairs Kunani Samukuch Kunadu. So he took a lot of money from the bank. Chana pet the mot from the bank nunchi, the putis kunaru. Oka manchi rose to sit and yaka business ni start chesani. A the rose prose put dina with the chindutu, manchi, a bit the loko chindi. He became so busy that he could not take time off for any rest. A the abu with the lakraga and a kanako, as a rest to this for danke samim lane kudunga, I told you. He used to get up early in the morning and go to his office. But then lechi, adli ga lechi tani sita padi office pele po yavaru. In the afternoon, he would take off his shirt and lie down. Ajhan tani office gadlo ne tani shirt tisa se tani akara rest piece po yavaru. Tani chinnna gap a nap vara chinnna nidra rupa ke minch ko karavata. He would look into the mirror and look at himself admiringly. Then Adam choose from Tana Pratiman choose Tony, ask Jerenga, Adutanga Tanya Cup, reflection me, choose Tony, Mustupayavadu. Anyhow, he left behind some fame in the town, even when he went to abroad. Tanu Videshan Pelina Pritni Tanyoka Manji, good thing for now, memory ga, a woodla, Udule said. Everybody believed that he changed into a new man. Anger and Kunatinu, Marin Victi, Maripoyadi Victani, good thing to carry a stage key, Pelipayad. Okay. Like this, you can phrase some more sentences or paragraph from the lesson only. You can put add on phrasal verbs as a linkers. Okay. Then next. Yeah, there is a some writing skills. Okay, you can prepare. Here is a poster. See, preparation of the poster. Tell the name of some important events happen. Happening. If you want to publicize the matter, what would you do? See, page number thirty. Here is a poster. The Kandukuru Locking Club announces the. Raja Babu. For the best, write up on the role of a comedy in human life. See here a humorous picture. The award annually honors, a, honors one print media journalist in each of the following three categories best write up in Telugu, Urdu, English. And each award carries 5,000. Okay. Have you seen the poster given below? Now see what are the elements here. 
to prepare a poster, we have to keep in some minds what are the elements and the sizes like that. Okay. And here, what are the precautions to be taken to prepare a poster? Here they have given some. See? See the questions? What are the elements of an effective poster? Color, size, layout, print size, language. Okay. Who issued the poster? What is the purpose of the poster? What is the deadline? What are the other details highlighted? What should be highlighted in a poster? Who are the target audience of the poster? Okay. Yeah, these are the questions they have asked. See, what are the elements of an effective poster means? The poster manamo, chupinch napro, invitation maninch napro, adi, elamdali, color, size, font size, axiom of the size, language we use, creative roundali, of invitation chapro. Italano, Akashin Chevidanga, Manyaka, post an invitation value. You put it in manamo. Whenever the cinema releases, we see the posters on the hoardings. Or uh, whenever the shops, inauguration of a shop, we see. They poster in a different way. Some people will get attracted to the poster and get into the shops, okay, or uh, to the movie, okay. And here, who issued the poster? Our poster issued, yes, sir. What is the purpose of the poster? Our poster is a purpose, ain't it? What is the deadline? Deadline means in the follow my uh, measurements. What are the other details highlighted? A poster low, inka aimed the highlighted eye. You see, whenever we go through the lesson, we highlight some, we underline some words, hard words, tiny, or the difficult words, or the meanings of the words, like that. Okay? That is highlighted. What should be highlighted in the poster? In the poster, which should be highlighted? Okay? That should be the main motto. Who are the target audience of the poster? Okay, this should be maintained before maintain, preparing the poster. Now see, what are the elements of the effective posters? Here, who issued the poster? See the picture? Who issued? On the top, it's there, see? The Kandapuri Laughing Club. Okay? The next question. What is the purpose of the poster? What is the purpose of the poster? To invite and award the comedy write-ups. Write-up means Prachetali. Evaina, last 20, comedy stories kani. Evaina, jokes kani vaka. Rachanil Rasin Vatini, write-ups ani under. The poster the purpose is to uh, Invite and award the comedy writers. Manchira Chaitalaki Ahpanami Batamu, he posts here the Mukya Uddesh. Then, what's the third question? What is the deadline? See, what's the deadline here? They have given the date. Deadline for entries. E laws lopla on application fill up chayala and the other dani deadline that July 27th is the deadline. Then what are the other details highlighted? Inka Amy we highlight a kada. See what are the other details highlighted means language, price money, and more. Akada, Amy highlight a Language guru in chicharu. Language means mana minchkune basha. Tarvata prize money and more. The next question Who are the target audience of the poster? Who are the target audience of the poster? College and journalist, college students and journalists. And what should be highlighted in the poster? Price should be highlighted. Ekkura manu, ekkua, akashincha bharitamu manu piche, 
ప్రైజ్ ఆ ప్రైజ్ ఇది గెలిస్తే మీకు ఈ ప్రైజ్ ఇస్తామంటారు కదా అది దానికి ఆకర్షితులై చాలా మంది పార్టిసిపేషన్ జరుగుతుంది ఓకే అండ్ వన్స్ అగైన్ సీ ద క్వశ్చన్స్ హూ ఇష్యూడ్ ద పోస్ట్ కందుకూరు లాఫింగ్ క్లాబ్ అండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద పర్పస్ ఆఫ్ ది పోస్ట్ టు ఇన్వైట్ అండ్ అవార్డ్ ద కామెడీ రైటర్స్ రచయితలకి ఇన్విటేషన్ అది అండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద డెడ్ లైన్ ఫర్ ద పార్టిసిపేషన్ జూలై ట్వంటీ సెవెంత్ ఈస్ ద డెడ్ లైన్ ఫర్ ద పార్టిసిపేషన్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద అదర్ డీటెయిల్స్ హైలైటెడ్ ఇంకా ఏమైతే ఆ పోస్టుల హైలైట్ అయినాయి లాంగ్వేజ్ ప్రైజ్ మనీ అండ్ మౌ వాట్ షుడ్ బి హైలైటెడ్ ఇన్ పోస్ట్ ఇంకా ఏం హైలైట్ కావాలి ప్రైజ్ షుడ్ బి హైలైటెడ్ ప్రైజ్ ఇచ్చే మనీ కానీ మరొక అమౌంట్ కానీ అవి హైలైట్ అవ్వాలి మనం పోస్ట్ తయారు చేసినప్పుడు హూ ఆర్ ద టార్గెట్ ఆడియన్స్ ఆఫ్ ది పోస్ట్ కాలేజ్ అండ్ జర్నలిస్ట్ ఓకే See next. Coming to the steady space. Here is a short narration. Read it carefully and make a list of important points. Suggest a suitable title for it. Here there is a short story. Children, you have to read the story and decide the title of the story. And any important points to be noted okay the young doctor married a rich fat foreign woman he told her the episode of the snake and the mirror she laughed heartily he went on talking about cobras and some funny facts related to them he said to her cobras are the most poisonous active and dangerous snakes but surprisingly most hindus worship them it's funny to know that some women drop eggs and pour milk into the and hills where cobras usually resides it is funny to know that some people believe cobras dance to the tunes of charmers in fact they have no ears it is equally humorous to be aware of the fact that most cobras victims to go to the charmers instead of the doctors the charmers send chants some so called mantras taking some name leaves into their hands the cobra victim dies and they say the victim came late to them it is funny to know that some farmers cremate cobras and perform funeral rites as if one of the members of their family has died as they are there any other funny stories related to cobras the young wife inquired yes there are many stories to tell about but i will tell them tomorrow the patients may be waiting for me at hospital the doctor said that that for hospital in a hurry here is a short story explaining the doctor to his wife okay see the young doctor married a rich fat foreign woman but a young doctor but a rich chana dhanavantaralu entanti chaala balashaalu entanti oka lady ni pelli chestunnaru he told her the episodes of the snake and the mirror he snake and mirror ane part meeda episodes laga dasala variga cheppadu she laughed heartily kudiya poorukanga nagindi he went on to talking about cobras and some funny facts well it is sambhashna e cobras meeda jarige sanniveshal meeda nijalu kani kalpitalu kani annidi meeda charcha jarugutu vaati gurinchi iddar madhya sambhashana jarugutu vachindi he said to her cobras are the most poisonous active and dangerous snakes here the dog end of the set to his wife that cobras are most poisonous and chana vishapurita maina jeevi but surprisingly most in this worship kani ekku bhagamo mana hindu sampradayamlo vaatini poojistaru 
it is funny to know that some women drop eggs and pour milk into the and hills where cobras usually reside mari chaana saalu chustuntam puttalo paalu poyadam kada kada gudlu vadalta paam gudlu tintundi paalu taagutundi kada it is funny to know that some people believe cobras dance to the tunes of charmers here the charmer means paamulu aadinche vaadu paam patte vaadu vale em cheptaru ఆ పాము ఆడించే వాడు ఫ్రూట్ తో వాయిస్తుంటే ఆ పాము డాన్స్ చేస్తున్నాను కానీ నిజానికి చెవు పాముకు చెవులు ఉండదు కదా కానీ ఆ ట్యూన్ బట్టి అది మూమెంట్స్ ఇస్తూ ఉంటుంది బ్యాడ్ హ్యావ్ నో ఇయర్స్ సి పాముకు చెవులు ఉండవు ఇట్ ఈస్ ఈక్వలీ హ్యూమరస్ టు బి అవేర్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫ్యాక్ట్ దట్ మోర్ స్టోబ్రాస్ విక్టిమ్స్ గో టు ద చార్మస్ ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ ది డాక్టర్స్ హాస్యాస్పదమైన సన్నివేశం ఏంటంటే ఫామ్ కాటే కానీ డాక్టర్ దగ్గరికి వెళ్ళదు అందరు ఎక్కడికి వెళ్తారు ఫామ్లు పట్టేవాళ్ళు దగ్గరికి వెళ్తారు ఆ విషయాన్ని తగ్గించడానికి పాములు పట్టేవాళ్ళు ఏం చేస్తారు వ్యాపార ఆకు వ్యాపారకు తీసి ఆ రసాన్ని ఆ మంత్రిచ్చి ఆ పశువులాగా వైద్యం చేస్తారు ద కోబ్రాస్ విక్టిమ్ డైస్ అండ్ దే సే ద విక్టిమ్ కేమ్ లేట్ టు దెమ్ ఆ దానికి ఆ విషయం తక్కలేక ఆ చాలా మంది చనిపోయే వాళ్ళు ఆ చనిపోయిన వాళ్ళకి ఏం చెప్తారు ఈ పాము కట్టేవాళ్ళు మీరు లేట్ గా వచ్చారు ఇంకాస్త ముందు వచ్చింటే బతికిపోయేవాడు ఇప్పుడు లేట్ గా రావటం వల్ల మనిషి చనిపోయాడని చెప్పడం ఆనవాయితీగా జరుగుతుంది ఇట్ ఈస్ ఫన్ యట్ నో దట్ సమ్ ఫార్మర్స్ we made cobras and perform funeral rites as if one of the members of their family had died chaana mandi farmers chalipaina appudu vaatini oka saapradaya padakanga ustapita karyakramalu chestaru adhe edo vaadi inti vaallu chalipaina appudu adantha iddar madhya discussion jariginaka aadu inka aduthunnaru anamata dr bariya are there any other funny stories related to cobras inka edaina సన్నివేశాలు ఉన్నాయా ఇటువంటివి అని అడగగానే అప్పుడు ఆ డాక్టర్ ఏం చెప్తాడు నాకు పేషెంట్స్ వెయిట్ చేస్తుంటారు సో వీ విల్ డిస్కస్ ద రెస్ట్ ఇన్ దుమారో అని చెప్తారు రేపు ఇంకా మనము వాటి గురించి చెప్తున్నాము అని చెప్తాడు అనమాట టైటిల్ ఆఫ్ ది స్టోరీ చిల్డ్రన్ ఇది ఒక మానవుని యొక్క మూఢ నమ్మకం మీద ఈ స్టోరీ నరేట్ చేయబడింది నిజంగా పాములు చెవులు ఉండవు కానీ అట్యూను బట్టి డాన్స్ చేయటము అది పాము విషపూరితం అని తెలిసి కూడా మనం వాటిని పూజించటము వాటికి ముక్కు బళ్ళు చేయటము గుడ్లు పెట్టటము ఇవన్నీ ఎవరు దీని వల్ల లాభం పొందుతున్నారు పాములు పట్టేవారు తన జీవనోపాధి కోసము ఆ విధంగా చేసి మనుషులను మభ్య పెడుతున్నారు అలాగే మనుషులందరూ కూడా దానికి తెలవబడిపోతున్నారు కదా కాబట్టి వీ కెన్ గివ్ ద టైటిల్ to this story as a some superstitions konni moda namakalani peru manam ivvagaltam okay here the title can be given as a some superstitions beliefs okay and here is a assignment for you children see it's in the page 14 okay write a descriptive essay on any unusual or humorous incident you may have witnessed or experienced okay edaina meeru itvanti hasyaspadamaina sannivesham kaani edaina nagukoda ka option kaani meeru chusunna meeku telusunna daanni oka essay rupamlo write you can prepare a short story okay in a descriptive manner in two or one or two paras you can write your any story okay which you have gone through in your days and you can prepare a poster also you are given some highlighted parts to prepare a poster see highlights theme humor occasion the laughter day now for that dinner category stories songs poems essays articles and cartoons see which can be written 
stories, a song, support, essays, articles, and cartoons. Okay. Award. Best Comic Writer Award. Okay. Prize amount is 10,000. Contact number. Deadline 9th August. Issued by ABC Locking Club. Umidivaram. East Godavari District. You have seen the other poster, you know, which have, they have shown in the textbook, the Kandukuri Locking Club. Like that, you prepare one poster basing on this themes, okay, and the words. Prepare a post in a creative manner and submit me when we meet in the next class. Okay, so we have gone through uh, understood what I have taught you in the this class and the link us in the last class, okay. And do practice the phrasal verbs and prepare this assignment in the notebook. And here is a short video chosen for you on phrasal verb. Look to it. So what is a phrasal verb? Now we know that a phrase is a group of words. Phrasal verb is a group of words consisting of a verb. Let's look into a sentence example to make things clear. Winter will set in soon. Here, set is a verb and in is an adverb in this context. If we combine both, then it is a group of words and it consists of verb. Hence, it is a phrasal verb. Now, based on other words in the group, we have divided phrasal verbs into three types. First is verb followed by adverbs. Second is verb followed by preposition. And third is verb followed by adverb and preposition. Let's look into examples of each of these types to make things clear. Let's start with example of verbs followed by adverbs. We sat down and waited. Here, Sat is the verb and down is the adverb and the whole group of words sat down is a phrasal verb containing adverb. Let's look into the next example. The price of the property here will go up. Here go is the verb and up is the adverb and the whole group of words go up is a phrasal verb. Let's look into the last example of phrasal verb containing adverb. When does the plane take off? Here, take is the verb and off is the adverb. The whole phrase take off is a phrasal verb containing adverbs. All these are the examples of phrasal verbs having adverbs. Now, let's see example of verbs followed by preposition. The workers asked for more money. Here, ask is the verb and for is the preposition. The whole group of word asked for is a phrasal verb containing preposition. Let's look into next example. The child fell into the water. Here fell is the verb and into is the preposition. And the whole group of words fell into is the phrasal verb containing preposition. Let's look into the last example of phrasal verb containing preposition. She brought up her children alone. Here brought is the verb and up is the preposition and the whole group of word brought up is a phrasal verb containing preposition. All these are the example of phrasal verbs having preposition. Now let's see example of verb followed by adverb and preposition. We will have to come up with another source of funding. Here come up with is a phrasal verb having the combination of verb adverb and preposition. Let's look into next example. He must face up to the possible consequences of his action. Here face up to is a phrasal verb having combination of verb, adverb and preposition. Let's look into the last example of phrasal verb containing adverb and preposition. It all comes down to money in the end. Here comes down to is a phrasal verb 
having combination of verb, adverb and preposition. All these are the examples of phrasal verb having adverb and preposition. So that's all about phrasal verb. Let's quickly revise what we have learned in this video. Firstly, we discussed what is a phrasal verb with an example. It is a group of words containing verb. Then we defined three types of phrasal verb. First one is phrasal verb containing adverb. Second one is phrasal verb containing preposition. And third one is phrasal verb containing adverb and preposition. And lastly, we saw examples of each of them to make things clear. So that's all in this video. I hope you had a brief understanding about phrasal verbs in this video. Thank you for watching the video. If you have, have a good day, we will meet in the next class.